Hello, this is the mighty Lord Gamerson, and I am here to explain the brand new Xbox Series X. The new Xbox is dropping in just a few months, and it's time to drop a brickload of power into your living room. So here it is, the exciting, the brand new Xbox Series X. The Xbox Series X uses a solid state drive, unlike the hard drives from previous systems. You get a whole one terabyte of storage space on this beast. It's even expandable. Go ahead and expand it. You know the games are going to be big. The speed of the SSD is impressive at 4.8 to 6 gigabytes a second. Microsoft's Velocity Engine uses a decompression chip in the hardware, plus new software solutions for maximum data management. So the SSD to RAM transfer doesn't overtax the CPU and slow everything down. Oh look at that, where did all the load times go? Thanks SSD. The SSD is a 1TB custom NVMe SSD. It's got 16GB of GDDR6 RAM with a 320MB bus. 10 gigabytes of said memory has a speed of 10 gigabytes at 560 gigabytes per second and 6 gigabytes at 336 gigabytes per second and it has IO throughput which determines how fast it can transfer data to the console. The GPU has 12 massive teraflops, 52 CU, 1.825 gigahertz custom RDNA2, this brand new cutting edge technology is available right here on the Xbox. The graphical processing unit supports ray tracing. Ray tracing simulates in real time the method in which individual light rays and sound effects interact with the environment. You see this best in the shadows. Good shadows make such a difference. The GPU does support 4 and 8K gaming. This CPU on the Xbox Series X is built on the Zen 2 CPU used on the original Xbox One Series X. The Zen 2 microarchitecture follows the AMD Zen microarchitecture. All this equals a better performance and more power. The Xbox Series X has a dedicated audio chip improving sound quality. The chip is able to support audio ray tracing. This allows for more sounds that can be heard at once. It can be difficult to get 3D audio on the Series X, but it can be done with audio hardware acceleration. The console has three 3.2 USB-A ports, two on the back and one on the front. There's an HDMI 2.1 port that runs at 4K at 120Hz and 8K at 60Hz. There's an Ethernet port and an Kensington lock, so you can lock your Xbox in place when you're on the go. The controller is mostly the same as the Xbox One controller. A decent improvement is the dynamic latency input built into the controller. And this significantly reduces input lag. Thousands of original Xbox, Xbox 360, and Xbox One games can be playable as backwards compatible titles on the Xbox Series X. Many old accessories can also be used. Series X can add HDR to older titles and the games will run better. Thanks for joining me, the Mighty One, as I give you a basic rundown of the Xbox Series X. Subscribe to Lord Gamerson on updates and next generation information.